Hello my Sagittariuses and welcome to your July love reading for the first half of July. If you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and welcome. I will be posting July mid-month love readings as well as weekend love readings and daily love readings. So Sagittarius, also keep in mind that you can watch your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign because this reading will not resonate with every Sagittarius out there. And also Sagittarius, keep in mind that the energy can be coming out vice versa. So if this is not you, this could be the person that you are dealing with or will be dealing with at this first half of July 2020. And also keep in mind energy is fluid. You could have already been dealing with the situation or will be closer to mid-July. So Sagittarius, let's see what's happening here for you in your love life for my Sagittarius's Sun Moon Rising Venus for Sagittarius thank you spirit all right Sagittarius we have heal beautiful energy this is the star wish fulfillment Aquarius energy could be dealing with an Aquarius we also have the throat chakra here all right Sagittarius you're gonna be having a conversation and we have it change your focus. This is the five of cups. Okay, so Sagittarius, you may be have you may be waiting to hear from somebody. And I feel as though spirit is kind of showing me that this person, I feel like this is your wish fulfillment, or possibly Sagittarius. They are your, I mean, I'm sorry, you are they, you are their wish fulfillment. And it's kind of like there is some sense of disappointment here. And there's some sense of someone's expectations not being necessarily reached. But there is still hope here. And that is why Heal is here as well. Because Change Your Focus is just saying that what you were expecting from this partnership may not be all that there was. But there is still hope for this partnership to be different. It's just not going to be exactly what your expectations were. So Sagittarius... I feel like you're going to be having a conversation or you may have already had a conversation with somebody about healing this partnership, but you're having, you're going to be gaining a wish fulfillment, but I'm feeling like it's not going to happen until you do change your focus and realize that things are not happening to you. They are happening for you. And I feel like there's a very important conversation that's going to be happening within the first half of July, possibly closer into the second half of July. So let's get a Romance Angels card out here for my Sagittarius's for their love lives for the first half of July. For my Sagittarius's in love for the first half of July. All right, Sagittarius. So we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yeah, so that's what I felt here with this expectation with this disappointment here there is something where there may be some sort of habit that you have or this habit that this person has where they expect things to be a certain way and in this situation it's just not going to be like that but that doesn't mean that it's not going to work out there is hope but you also must forgive and you must learn that not everything is going to be how it was before. Just because something is not living up to the expectations you have for it does not mean that it's not something that is good for you. It's not doesn't mean it's not going to bring you wish fulfillment and healing because the star is the star is getting the wish and the healing that you need. So in this sense, you're releasing and you're healing the past. And as you do that, you're going to be experiencing more love in the future and the present moments. But you must heal this sort of disappointment that you had towards past love. So very interesting here. I feel like you're getting a wish fulfillment. You are getting this star energy here where hope is restored. But I feel like... There's work to do here. There's conversations that need to be had. So Sagittarius for the first half of July. Spirit in their love lives for my Sagittariuses. For It's kind of like, also one more thing, Spirit just told me this right now. It's kind of like for my Sagittariuses that are dealing with somebody in your early relationship, it's kind of like 
you look at this person as your wish, but you also like have a disappointment in like maybe like your expectations of how this could have went. Like you still have somebody that's your wish fulfillment and you still have hope with this person, but it's kind of like your own expectations may be causing you to not see this for how amazing that it truly is and vice versa Sagittarius you may be dealing with somebody who is very feeling like kind of like they're not too sure about this situation when in reality they're not sure because they want you so badly and they look at you as being their wish and it's just kind of making them uneasy because they don't want to be disappointed and let down again. But let's get some tarot on this because I would love to know with this conversation. Why is throat chakra here? I need to know this. And what's going down for my Sagittarius's spirit? Who are they dealing with? What is coming in for them in their love lives for the first half of July for Sagittarius? Thank you, spirit. Okay. Sagittarius, we have the Six of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups, we have the Emperor, we have the Two of Wands, we have the Fool, and we have the Five of Cups yet again. Okay. All right. So, we have the Six of Cups here. This is a soulmate connection. This could be a past life connection as well. But nonetheless, Sagittarius, someone has love for you here. And I feel as though someone has or will be expressing this love for you. But I do feel like... Like, there is something that this person is attending to. Because, like, it's like they have love for you, but they still have other things to deal with, with this Two of Wands. Like, they still have to... They still have to put their energy into maybe work, and possibly, like, this person is dealing with some sort of situation in their life. But it's kind of like... They can't help but feel this connection towards you, Sagittarius. And they feel this bond that they have towards you. They feel this soulmate connection. They miss you. Because I feel like this could be somebody that you have once dealt with in the past with the Six of Cups. Or this can be a new soulmate, past life energy entering your life now. But I do feel as though this person is going to express how they feel to you, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a water sign. We have more water here as well. We have water in Change Your Focus. And this is the Five of Cups, which is Change Your Focus, more water. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Doesn't have to be, but this person has love for you. And I feel as though they are going to be expressing themselves, Sagittarius. This person may be a little bit cautious with their love as well, but nonetheless, they have this cup of love for you. They're going to come towards you. They may be just a little bit slow, but it's just because I feel like they may be being cautious because of, like, you know, they may want to not be disappointed either. Because now that the Five of Cups is here twice, I feel as though you both possibly are not having hope in this partnership. Or you both are not having hope in the future of this partnership. Because there could be a relationship already here. And I feel as though with the Emperor here, it could be dealing with an Aries energy. I feel as though one person in this situation wants to lead this partnership more than the other. Or both of you want to lead this partnership and it's kind of causing some sort of clash. Both of you wanting to lead this partnership is causing some sort of power play here that's leaving you both disappointed and leaving you both like there possibly is not enough hope here for you two to actually move forward when in reality there is hope for this partnership and there's great healing and there is so much love that is able to come out here that I just feel like you know I feel like you both really want this but you both are just really It's like you want to start over in a way. So we have the two of wands here. So this is choosing the new path. So I do feel as though Sagittarius, this person could have turned their back on you in the past and are making their ways back around. And, you know, it may be a little bit disappointing to you because of maybe their approach towards you. But nonetheless, I do feel as though with the Two of Wands, there is a need to choose the new path. 
So nonetheless, this person is going to be returning into your energy, whether from a past life or from your actual past in this lifetime. And they're going to kind of cause you to take the new path in life, to choose the new path that I feel is going to help you really open yourself up more to more things and to really release this old because he for this man to choose the new wand and to hold on to the world he has to let go of that wand back there so it's kind of like this person wants you to possibly let go of everything that you've been through in the past and really be hopeful in them because Sagittarius you know you could have been very hurt in the past and you have this new energy coming back around and you may be just so disappointed in the past that you don't want to really give anybody a chance right now because you're still forgiving you're learning and you're releasing the past right now and it's kind of very difficult to let a welcome and ener welcome a new energy in when this is happening or even let somebody back in that was once part of your life and like really welcome them back in with open arms because of possibly a disappointment that you had with them in the past but for others of you Sagittarius I feel like this is like somebody that is like your wish and you're just so disappointed in what you've been through that like you're like there's no way that my wish fulfillment is going to not disappoint me if anybody if if everybody in the, my past has disappointed me there's no way that the person that I really truly want is not gonna do it but guess what, Sagittarius? These disappointments are coming from your expectations on love. And these disappointments are coming from how you expect people to treat you. And in some senses, Sagittarius, you must turn around and see that hope is still restored for your well-being. It may not even have to do with somebody else. Because for some of you, Sagittarius, this is a new energy that wants a clean slate. This is a new energy that wants you to treat them as if you have a like just like um like a clean portrait for them to paint their colors on. They don't want to paint with the colors of the past. How can you paint a new picture with the colors of the past? You can't. So, if this is someone who's returning back into your energy, you both need to release the past of what happened here and move forward. If this is somebody that you're already with, I feel like Sagittarius, you or the other person needs to release disappointments from the past and really embrace this partnership because these disappointments could possibly cause this relationship to not progress as well as it could. So Spirit, can we please clarify this for my Sagittarius's? For my Sagittarius's Spirit, can we please clarify this for my Sagittarius's for the first half of July? In love for my Sagittarius's. All right, Sagittarius. We have clarifying the Six of Cups. We have the Star again. Wow, Sagittarius. This person's your soulmate. Wait, I don't know if you can see them if I move them like that. Okay, kind of. Let's move them over here. Okay. Clarifying the Knight of Cups, we have the Magician. Clarifying the Emperor, we have the Four of Pentacles. Yes, I, I felt that someone wants to lead this partnership. Or both of you really want to lead this partnership. And there is kind of a power play in here. All right, clarifying the Two of Pentacles, I mean the Two of Wands is Justice. We clarify the Fool with the Ace of Pentacles. And clarifying the Five of Cups is the Five of Wands. All right. Okay. Yeah. Sagittarius, for a lot of you, this is somebody that is returning from the past. And you are forgiving and learning that, that some people can change. For others of you, Sagittarius, is you are forgiving and learning the past. And you are letting it go. And you are saying, look, I have somebody new in my reality because you definitely have an offer on the table here, Sagittarius, from somebody or you are giving an offer. I feel as though you may be getting it because once again, we have the star Aquarius energy you could be dealing with. This is a, this is a soulmate connection here. This is a past life connection. You know, you ha you know this person already. So I do feel as though there is kind of like an inner knowing that you have with this person that it's like. You may know, like, all right, yeah, 
I feel like this person is going to be good for me, but like, I don't know, everything that I went through in the past, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way. Like, have hope, Sagittarius. Just have hope. Because there's going to be healing to this soulmate connection. And I do feel as though with the Knight of Cups, with the Magician, you could be dealing with a Aries. Um, with the Magician energy, you could also be dealing with the Gemini as well with the Magician. We also have the Fool here, which is also Aries energy. And we also have the Emperor here, Aries energy. Very strong Aries energy coming out here. But Sagittarius... There is a need for you to, to understand that you have any, you have all the tools to make this work. You have all of the tools to make this relationship hopeful. You have all of the tools to make this relationship be what it truly can be. If only you just changed your focus to realize that this relationship can be more than what it is right now. And I feel as though for some of you Sagittarius is you may be on a break from this person. And they're going to be returning back into your energy. You may have also manifested them back with the magician energy here. But it's kind of like with the emperor to the four of pentacles. Why I said that you may be on a break with this person is because the emperor to the four of pentacles. The four of pentacles, is, it doesn't open up. The four of pentacles is very stubborn. The four of pentacles is not wanting to open up to anything. The emperor is the leader. The emperor is the authority person. The emperor is the one who's the boss. So it's like one or both of you was kind of like not wanting to come towards the other person because you didn't want to open up to this. You didn't want to open up to the hope and to the healing that could happen to this relationship. Or maybe for a lot of you, the emperor could be a boss figure. So, you know, for some of you, they could have been busy dealing with work or they were just very stressed with work, decided to take a break from this partnership. And all of a sudden, it's like, no, 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 I need to get my Sagittarius back. I don't want to be um, stubborn. I don't want to be feeling so busy anymore. Like, it's like somebody wants to sit in the lead of their partner um, of this partnership and not open up fully, but they are about to. And I feel like this could be that person's energy in the past when if this is that past life um, energy that you have already met Sagittarius because for some of you this is the person that's going to return that you already know and they've been stubborn with coming towards you they have been but they're going to be coming towards you they have the two we have the two of wands here to the justice which is showing me that this person wants to bring balance back into the situation karma is going to be coming and bringing balance back into the situation as well so there is a need for this relationship to kind of detach emotionally for the sake of this relationship because if something the what's going to what's going to make this relationship falter is the fact that you are still holding on to past emotions so there's a sense to detach and let justice and let karma do its job and let karma really deem who is worthy of blessings and healing and hope. And Sagittarius, like you're miss you're 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 meeting or you have already met or you are already in partnership with somebody who is your soulmate, your t past life energy, possible twin flame as well, the star to the 6 of cups. Wow. And we have so many majors here as well with the star here twice. We have the magician. We have the emperor. We have justice. We have the fool. So this is big energy here. I feel like Sagittarius, if you're already in partnership with this person, one or both of you kind of just needs to open up into letting both of you lead this partnership. Both of you should be able to have a say on what's happening because I feel like right now, only one of you has a say. Whomever is returning into the energy is the person who has the say. But for others of you Sagittariuses, I feel as though you are meeting a soulmate energy that you don't know yet. And I feel like maybe you've been a little bit closed off to love, but we have the fool here to the ace of pentacles. So you have a passionate, I mean, um, a stable new beginning on the horizon. But if only you were to take the leap. If only you were to take the risk to take the jump. So Sagittarius, there is a need for you to be, um, just kind of give it, give it a chance. Just give it a chance and see what happens. Don't let that, don't let that, that conflict inside of you. Don't let that insecurity inside of you 
like miss this moment because this may not come back around again because we have the Ace of Pentacles here. So for you, Sagittarius, is this person is coming back into your life. They have a stable offer for you, Sagittarius. It's going to cause you to feel a little bit conflicted just because that maybe you weren't ready for this. Um, for my single, single Sagittarius is maybe you've been really focusing on you, focusing on your healing, on your life, on your power on forgiving and learning the past and really learning from what you've been through and maybe you're not necessarily fully ready for this ace of pentacles for a stable offer to be given to you but it's coming Sagittarius and I do feel for some of others of you who are already in a partnership with somebody or, or who are dealing with somebody who's returning from this lifetime it's like the same thing like this person is going to cause some conflict within you because just of how strongly you feel towards them so it's kind of like there is there's a solid stable offer on the table here for you Sagittarius from this person or you're giving this person a stable offer here and there is just a need for you to turn around and grab this offer and not let the past hold you back. So that can go a lot of different ways because it could be past emotions, it could be past disappointments, it could be past people, but Someone's returning into your energy here and they have an offer for you. And we have the five of cups now to the five of wands. So Sagittarius, this is causing you a lot of conflict, but it's causing you a lot of conflict inside because I feel like a lot of you Sagittariuses are healing your soul or possibly Sagittarius, you were not expecting this person to come back into your vicinity and they come back and you're like, wow, I just got over you. I just tried my hardest to get over this. Now you're back and you're causing me conflict again. Now you're giving me some sort of insecure feeling. Not not necessarily insecure, but with the Five of Wands, this is showing me um, possible competition and possible other people involved. So this disappointment and this expectations that you have on love Sagittarius could be because of past jealous and insecure feelings or situations that you have been put in so when this person comes back into your vicinity you may be like um no you put me in so much conflict before I felt like I was in competition I felt like you had other options and now you want to come and offer me something stable and just expect me to turn around and see that there's hope left for us you know, that's the, what's going to happen here in Sagittarius. You are either going to give this person that clean slate or you are just going to take the risk and move on without this person. But for others of you Sagittariuses, I feel like you're meeting a new soulmate past life energy who is very, very much well be can be your twin flame. And I feel like there's just so much conflict of what you've been through in the past that it's just hard to trust this energy. Because they may be coming into you so pure and so, like, amazing. And they have offers for you. They have love for you. They have stable offers for you. They have hope and healing for you. And Sagittarius, you may just be like, how the hell is this happening for me? There's no way that this person means everything that they say. Spirit, um, Spirit can we please clarify this last row for Sagittarius? Um, Sagittarius, I'm only doing this because I really want to know what's happening with this five of cups and the five of wands, but I just want to get another clarifier for this whole bottom row anyways. So for my Sagittarius's, for my Sagittarius's, for my Sagittarius's. All right, so clarifying the two of wands and justice, we have the two of cups. There it is. I'm telling you, Sagittarius, this person is your soul mate. This person is like literally going to, I feel like they're going to rock your world. That's why I feel like you're going to be so conflicted because you're going to be like, what? Like, it's, it's wild. So clarifying the fool and the ace of pentacles, we have the nine of swords. There you go. I'm telling you, you're going to feel conflictive here because this person who's returning back into your energy, Sagittarius, either they hurt you in the past or you've been so hurt and done dirty in the past that you just cannot see how there is hope for you and your love life. But 
there's hope because yes, the Ace of Swords is clarifying the Five of Cups to the Five of Wands, victory to the mental body. So the Two of Cups here, I could just comment it on that, looking towards the future of this soulmate connection, choosing the new path, choosing to karmically make this position right. I mean, to make this position and stance for this relationship right and to actually look at this relationship from a new point of view. Because with the Nine of Swords here, this is a lot of anxiety towards love, anxiety towards taking a risk. There's anxiety with this risk. There is anxiety with this person's offer that's coming towards you. And for some of you Sagittariuses, this anxiety is only here because of what you've been through in the past and you just can't even believe that you have somebody offering all of this amazing things to you but for others of you you're having all this anxiety because you're scared to take a new you're take you're scared to take the risk on this person again because possibly they hurt you in the past like I said for some of you there's a break here or there was a break and when they come back into your vicinity it's kind of like do I really want to take this risk and risk myself being in this nine of swords energy again but Sagittarius you have the Ace of Swords here. Look at that. You are Ace of Swordsing. <laughs> the Five of Cups and the Five of Wands. You are cutting through that disappointment. You are cutting through that conflict, that insecurity, that jealousy, that competition. And you are saying, you know what? I want victory in my love life, so I'm going to take it. Somebody wants to talk to you, too. Oh, my goodness, Sagittarius. Someone wants to talk to you. Someone wants to give you... Um, Stability. This could be you doing it towards them as well if this is not resonating that way. But man, Sagittarius, somebody wants, someone wants to like, like just give you something different than what you're used to. And I feel like it may be causing you to feel weary because you can't just possibly believe how this is possible for you. But believe it because it's here, Sagittarius. Or it's about to be here. Because for some of you, like I said, this may have been a break situation where you may not be um, hearing from this person until a little bit closer into mid-July. But nonetheless, there's a soulmate energy coming in for you. Very strong soulmate energy. Super strong soulmate energy. We have the Ace of Swords here, which could be a air energy. We have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Nine of Swords, air energy as well. Two of Cups, um, water sign energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, Sagittarius, get ready because someone's coming in for you. Just get ready. That's all I got to say. And just release the past. Heal what you need to heal because in that way, you are going to be able to experience more love in this present moment because, man, this person got a lot of love for you and they want to give it to you and they want to show you why either how they've changed or they want to show you why nothing has ever worked out in your life because this person has not come here yet and now they're here and now you're going to know Sagittarius why it did not work with anybody else in the past so Sagittarius if you'd like to book a private reading with me you can send me an email or you can add me on Instagram and send me a private message and or you can Leave me a comment below if you just want to give me some feedback on this reading. Thank you for watching. Bye, Sag.